What is going on, YouTube? It is Randy Talks Mets. In the building, and this video is going to be about Eduardo Escobar and are the Mets regret regretting signing uh, Eduardo Escobar? We're going to get into it. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let's talk some Mets baseball. Eduardo Escobar, you know, one of the most talented signings that the Mets signed uh, this offseason. Definitely two years, you know, not a lot of money. Uh, Eduardo Escobar, you know, a guy, you know, that they needed a position. They needed a third baseman. They needed a guy who can definitely play some third base. And Eduardo Escobar was the perfect fit for the New York Mets. And a lot of people thought Chris Bryant was the perfect fit. But Eduardo Escobar, you know, is a very talented player, guys. Um, 2022, he is hitting 209 with one home run and only 24 hits. So this Eduardo Escobar that we're getting in 2022 is not the Eduardo Escobar that the Mets signed. But I'll tell you this. Um, you know, um, it's early in the season, guys. I don't think it's, you know, it's time to give up on Eduardo Escobar just yet. He does have one home run. And, you know, um, obviously, you know, in, in 2021, guys, this guy hit 28 home runs, you know. Um, you know, 22 with Arizona and six with Milwaukee. So Eduardo Escobar is a talented player, you know, a guy that can, you know, be a gap-to-gap -gap hitter, a guy to, you know, get you more than 20 home runs. He's definitely going to come around. I definitely think so. I think the weather, um, you know, is impacting him as well. But I'm not going to lie. Um, Eduardo Escobar just hasn't looked good at the plate. Um, you know, he's been striking out a lot on that high pitch, on that fastball. And, yeah, I think that, you know, right now they're pitching to Eduardo Escobar. You know, and they know how to pitch to him right now. So Eduardo Escobar is going to have to make adjustments, guys, if he wants to be really, really good for this team. And I know that a lot of Mets players, you know, a lot of people, when they come from other organizations, they struggle. So I hope that Eduardo Escobar doesn't have, you know, this struggling year like Francisco Lindor last year. Um, you know, I think I, I know that Eduardo Escobar is a very talented player. First of all, his his um, the way he plays infield at third base is amazing. He does not make a lot of errors. He has been amazing, and he has been a, a breath of fresh air, you know, compared to J.D. Davis at third base. So, I mean, I'm happy with the defense he's playing. But, yes, the offense, guys, once Eduardo Escobar and his offense comes around, he is going to be... He's going to be really good for this team, and he's going to, you know, build this team. He's going to be clutch, you know. So, at the end of the day, you know, Eduardo Escobar is going to be a talented player, you know. You know, it is what it is, you know. Eduardo Escobar is going to be a talented player. And, you know, the Mets just have to give Eduardo Escobar a chance. You know, I know that I feel I know that he can do better. I know that he can. He's proven it throughout throughout the seasons. This guy is a 28 home run hitter, 30 home run hitter, you know. Um, so this guy has talent. OK, this guy has power. This guy has gap to gap um, hitting clutch hitting. So it's not like Eduardo Escobar has not done this before. So he's he's proven proven many seasons of baseball to be a really good player. And, you know, maybe not the highest average hitter. I'll tell you that. But I say 270, 280 is good with me with 20 something home runs. And, you know, I want more RBIs. I want at least like probably 80 to 90 RBIs because that's what the Mets. That's what the Mets, you know, signed him for. They signed him to drive him runs. They try. They signed him to play really good defense. And they signed him to be a bridge, you know, guy to Brett Beatty or Mark Vientos, who's, you know, the, the next uh, third baseman prospects that's coming up soon. So, Eduardo Escobar, guys, he can do better. I know that he can. He just has to, you know, be comfortable, uh, get comfortable with New York and also, you know, just stay confident and, you know, not lose confidence and try not striking out a lot. So, Eduardo Escobar, in the beginning of the season, guys, he was tearing it up. And he just recently has struggled so much. And his batting average is all the way in 209. So not a very impressive batting average at all, guys. Let me know what you guys think about Eduardo Escobar. But I'll tell you this, guys. Let's not lose hope on Eduardo Escobar, okay? Let's not lose hope. Let's wait till the weather gets a little bit better. You know, I know that he has talent. I know that he can hit the ball. So definitely, you know, just do what you can to have some patience for Eduardo Escobar. Because I know that he's going to prove... Um, you know, Mets fans, and he's going to prove um, Sandy Alderson and Steve Cohen right. I know he's going to do better, and he's not going to be a 209 hitter for the rest of the season. So it's not going to happen. He's just too talented for that. But, yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about Eduardo Escobar. What are you, what are you seeing from Eduardo Escobar? Do you think that he is a lost cause? Let me know. But, yeah, leave a like, comment, subscribe. And, yeah, it's been Randy Talks Mets, and I'm out of here.